Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with my week three picks. But first, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I recap last week and how I'm doing on the season. And so, there you go. Oh, yeah, I... Turn this thing on. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, yes, you can see I am 11 and 5 in week two. And I was 22 and 10 overall so far this year because I was 11 and 5 in both weeks so far. And if I take anything from my math classes with Mr. Kraft and Mr. Lobb, it's that 11 and 5, two times, is 22 and 10. So, that was just a little precursor to the fact that, hey, the sportsman is having a good year. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. And so... I'm going to ride that wave. We are going to take it to the limit. So let's start off with the, uh, well, let's go through the games for week three, since we're going to, that's what we're here to talk about. The Thursday night game is going to be the Panthers at Houston. And who do you think I'm picking here? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really going to go with the Panthers here. Yeah, you want to take the Panthers because they have a monster defense. Now, yeah, I know in week one they beat the Jets and, you know, my high school football team could beat the Jets. But they also beat the Saints this past week. That was crazy because I had the Saints. So um, that defense looks pretty good. And Sam Darnold seems to like not being in New York anymore. So that'll bring us to the Sunday games. The first Sunday game we're going to talk about is, we're going to get right into this, the Bears and the Browns. And this is in Cleveland. So guess what? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Browns on this. I mean, I don't trust Baker Mayfield as far as I can throw him because they did have to play a pretty tight game for most of the game against the, the uh, Texans this past week. And may only have benefited from the fact that um, Tyrod Taylor got an injured hammy and had to leave the game. But they are nevertheless one and one, and they played a really good game against Kansas City that they lost. And the Bears, although they may have Justin Fields, now, that's, I say may, because we don't know the extent of the injury as I'm recording this to Andy Dalton. And they also do have another veteran quarterback on their team named Nick Foles. So, um, we don't know if Nagy wants to play Foles and keep, you know, slowly getting Fields into the game and getting him an experience, or whether he'll just go right to Fields. But I don't care if they bring back Joe Montana from 1986. 1986? Yeah, maybe that's about right. I don't know. But if they bring back Joe Montana in his prime, they're still not going to. I don't think they could still beat the Browns. So that brings us to the next game, which is the um, Baltimore Ravens playing the Detroit Lions. And in this game, uh, Detroit is home, but I don't care. We're still going to go with the Ravoids. Yeah, let's take the Ravens because they opened a little mini can of whoop ass on Kansas City this past week. And um, they were in a shootout with the Raiders. And by the way, the Raiders are not looking that bad. So, yeah, let's go with the... Uh, with the Ravens in that one. So now you have the, whoa, I almost dropped it. 
You have the Giants at home hosting Atlanta. And who do you think we're going to take in this game? You've got these two teams right here. And who am I going to go with? Yes, I'm going to go with the Giants. That's right. We're going to take the Giants, even though the Giants have not instilled any kind of, uh, I want to say, confidence that they're a good team. But Atlanta really um, is not a good team. I mean, we know that. So the next game we're going to do is the, um, the Patriots at home against the Saints. This one, I am going to go with New England over the Saints because the Saints looked really bad last week. And I think they are dealing with a lot of issues that they're not finding easy to deal with, like the whole coaching staff being out due to COVID, uh, the fact that they, um, well, the fact that, I mean, Winston really, he didn't have to do much in the game against Green Bay because they were able to run the ball. And then uh, this past week when he had to pass the ball, he didn't look that good. So, I mean, that's part of the issue they're going to have. And, uh, you know, and they're displaced also. They're, you know, working out of Texas right now. So they got all kinds of issues going on that's not making it any easier for them. The next one we've got is the Steelers are at home against the Bengals. And guess what I'm going to do here? Yeah, I'm going with the Bengals. The one time, you would figure, the one time that I picked the Steelers... Because I'm not really high on the Steelers. Nobody is. Their offense is crap. And they might be missing, what's his name? A.J. Watt? I don't know. I don't know what you call him. But anyway, he may still be out this week against the Bengals. And uh, the Bengals have shown that they can hang in there. So they, I mean, because they actually beat the Vikings week one in overtime. And they were hanging with the Bears. I mean, if that game was a little longer... I don't know. I don't like the Bears' chances. So the next one we're going to talk about is the Titans at home playing Indianapolis. And right here, I'm going to go with the Titans, take the Titans over Indy. Um, we don't know the extent of the injury to um, uh, the dude. What is his name again? Names, they just fly out of my head. Uh, their quarterback that they got from the Eagles. But anyway, he, he was injured. And um, you don't know the extent. We don't really know the extent of that injury. And if he can't play, then it's going to be his backup, which is the guy that they got from the Colts, which is another dude that I cannot remember his name. And by the way, these names are probably across the screen as I looked them up afterwards. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like the Colts' chances of beating the Titans. Um, the, the Titans looked really bad in week one, but they just won an overtime against Seattle in Seattle. So let's go with the Titans on that one. Uh, the next one we've got is the uh, Bills are at home against the Washington football team. And uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to go with the Bills in this one. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I was high on the Washington football team, their defense, everything, all the kind of cool stuff they got going on over there. And, you know, now they've got, um, you know, Heineken beer at quarterback. But they still are not even close to in the class of the Buffalo Bills. So, um, yeah, let's not even go there. The next one we have is the Chiefs at home against the Chargers. I am I'm going to go with the Chiefs here. I am going to go with the Chiefs, although we have seen what happens when the Chiefs get out to a lead early. They lose. They're better, they're much better when you when they have to spot the other team 24 points. Then they always come roaring back and get mad. So, um, you know, let's hope that, um, since I called it, let's hope the Chargers score early in this one and go up 
you know, by a touchdown or a touchdown and a field goal or something early so that the uh, Chiefs can get mad and come back and win the game. Um, next one you got is the Jacksonville Jaguars are hosting the Arizona Cardinals. And in this one, no, we are not going to go with the Jags. We are going to go with the Arizona Cardinals. So, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely take the Arizona Cardinals. If I had to give you a lock for this week, that game would probably be the lock. The next one we have, the Broncos are at home against the Jets. Now, who do you think I'm going to take in this one? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with the Broncos in this one over the Jets. This time I didn't throw the Jets helmet because um, I've been throwing it a lot. And, you know, it's going to be damaged, broken, something lost. So, I mean, that could happen to any of the helmets. But the more you throw it, the bigger the chance that you'll lose it is. Again, drawing on my extensive math class uh, experience from when I was going through school. Now the uh, next one we're going to talk about is the, uh, what, let's see, the Raiders are at home against the Dolphins. Now as I alluded to earlier, the Raiders are becoming quite the team and I'm going to go with the Raiders. Yeah, take the Raiders. Take the Raiders, take the points, take the Raiders. I mean, they, uh, Tua might be out, um, you know, for a while. And um, who's his backup? I don't even know who his backup is. You know, I don't know this. But anyway, it doesn't really matter because I don't think they would beat the Raiders. Carr, you know, Derek Carr, that guy is on a roll. The dude is on a pace to pass for 6,800 yards this year. So, you know, I mean, that's partly because they have no running game. But still, it's good. So now we're going to talk about the Seahawks and the Vikings. And the Vikings are at home in this game. But I don't care what planet they're on, where they're playing, I don't care. I'm going to go with Seattle, even though Seattle did blow an 18-point lead this past Sunday, which was very un-Seattle-like. But, you know, it happens, I suppose. Not usually to Seattle, but it does happen. The next one we're going to talk about is the Rams are at home, and they're hosting the Buccaneers, the world champion Buccaneers. And yeah, the Rams, they got that new look. They look like they're going to be a force in the West. All that good stuff. But no, I'm still going to say let's go with the Buccaneers, the world champion Buccaneers, until they lose a game. I'm picking them every single week. That's my strategy on that one. Now, we the next game we've got, this is the Sunday night game now. And uh, this is going to be the 49ers at home against the Pack. And yes, Matt, I am taking the Packers in this one. That goes out to my cousin Matt, who is a 49ers fan, and tried to convince me to pick the 49ers last week, which would have been another win on my record if I had done it. But uh, no, I didn't. I didn't listen, and uh, I got that one wrong, but I don't think it's going to happen this week. The 49ers, actually, I mean, offensively, you can see, when they go up against a good defense, they, they tend to have issues. So, offensively, they weren't that um, impressive. And that brings us to the good defense that they went up against and almost lost to, and that is the Philadelphia Eagles visiting the Dallas Cowboys next Monday, September 27th. And in this one, yeah, you're going to be a little surprised about this one, but I'm going back to the Eagles. I'm going back to the Eagles. 
Yeah, I'm going to take the Eagles over Dallas because Dallas showed that when you put a tough defense up against them, they're not that good. They they uh, almost, well, they, they played quite well against the Buccaneers in week one, but they were slinging the ball all over the yard, although the Buccaneers do have a good defense, but still. Uh, last week against um, the um, the Chargers, and really, let's not say the Chargers have a good defense. I mean, it it is good. It's it's not it's not bad, but um, they uh, yeah they they barely pulled that one out. And the Chargers tried to give. They did everything they could do to give Dallas the game. They had penalties at key times. They were just uh, they were a mess. And they almost took Dallas to overtime. So yeah, I don't see him beating Philadelphia if, um, you know, if uh, Jalen Hurts can uh, get back on track. Because that guy, I mean, he looked great against Atlanta. And really, they went, up against a, they went up against a good San Francisco defense. And they only lost by a touchdown to San Francisco. So I think that the uh, Philadelphia D... And their lines, they're, they're good up front on defense and on the offensive line. I think if they if they cut down, if they don't make a lot of mistakes, and they don't beat themselves, they will beat Dallas. So, those are my picks. What do you guys think of them? Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And... Other than that, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.